Good morning. Good Happy morning. Happy Friday. It's Come here. On in. I'm Allison. I'm Cinnamon. And this is our fun Friday. So uh, the pens go away, the mugs go away. If you're um, a long time listener, first time watcher, you know that we like to jingle those bells. And when we jingle those bells, that's the sign that it's time to start our fun Friday games. Woo! Uh, Cinnamon and I used to do something when we were very young, and by that I mean, oh, 14, 15. No, we it thought, was younger than that, wasn't it? Well, it started probably younger than that, but we were doing it through high school, dude. Sure, yeah. Sure. We loved to crack each other up. I mean, for some reason, this would send us into fits of laughter with the assignment, not necessarily at Christmas, of one of us unbidden without being prompted by the other would just go find some random thing like a spool of thread, maybe emptied with no thread on it. <laughs> wrap it up so carefully with mom's collection of wrapping paper and ribbons and and you know present it to the other sister and say oh i got you this like in, in earnest so and sincere. very seriously yeah we would say i have like this you for you a, you need a present today and I, I you don't need to give me anything i just want to give you this and it would be it's really important that you have this and then the other sister would unwrap it and it would be like an empty spool of thread but we, we would, would know it was coming so it would just be like what is it going to be this time so and it would be... happen like i don't know five times during the year like it was just something sporadic that we thought was hysterical in that vein i said <laughs> cinnamon find something around the cabin um that you will give to me it will now be in my possession and i will do the same so be careful right so uh do you want to go first or sure sure Cinnamon has wrapped something up for me. I wrapped something up that I know that, uh, first of all, I want to, if I may, say that this is something that I know that you will fully enjoy, uh, that you do enjoy, and is very appropriate for our morning show. I'm very excited for that. I have to be careful. I noticed in some episodes when I'm getting super enthusiastic, I got this one, I got this one. Like, do you know it's like that? All right. Oh, there's a little, what's happened to my wrapping paper here, Sid? It's a brown paper package tied up in strings. Where's the strings? I use tape. Oh, we, we're twins. We thought on the same page. Mm -hmm. This is going to shock our audience. Thank you, Sin, for this gift of uh, there's at least a third canister left of my chai, my favorite chai tea. This is <laughs> Elsa loves making her little chai. I just discovered this Not brand. Not an ad, P.S. Not an ad. I will just say I just discovered this brand for those who love chai the way I do. You just, this is everything. It's a powder. And it's like almost like you put it into steamed milk. It's almost like what you do with hot chocolate. You just put it in hot water and oh. it becomes a chai latte. Sin doesn't like chai latte, so she's missing not even, out. Not even a little bit. She's missing out. Not even a You're little not bit. even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Did you smell that? Doesn't it, that sound? Mm, no, no, it's just not. It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> Sin, I have a gift for you. Peel to me for some and, reason. And I'm glad you said the word peel. Because you need to peel this wrapper carefully off of here. Don't drop it. <laughs> oh, what could this be? Christmas has come early for the sisters. It's an unboxing. Oh, <laughs> it's the brownies you made. It's the brownies I made. You only get one, though. I know there's two left. They come in a set. Um, nice. Well, you gave them to me now, so I get to decide what happens. I might I might have one, give one to Teddy Bear. Ted. No, that's one for me. Well, no, they were given to me They're now. delicious brownies. The Boards thing is, can we rewind the tape where you said, be careful. Here's something to remember. When to you, you know what, when, here, when you they... make brownies, Add an extra egg accidentally, as I did. They're fudge brownies, chewy fudge brownies. I accidentally added an extra egg. I did three eggs instead of two because I saw three tablespoons. For one. It doesn't see a lot. Guys, I wear a really heavy prescription of glasses. And so I did an extra egg. And I actually, I wear a very mild prescription of glasses. I just you anyway, I turned us off. So uh, it well, nice. it was spongy and delicious, <laughs> and and it made it kind of a cake brownie. I want to call it a crownie. I have taken um, three gifts that we got at Christmas okay. as children. Okay. I have written each one down. There's three pieces of paper. Okay. You're going to pluck one out of the pile. Okay. And tell what your memory of that gift okay. was, but not like a story story because no, don't know. go anywhere, I guys. Know. Please like, stay, guys. Two or three sentences. Short, I'll keep it. Two short, or three short, sentences. But um, they each have a little bit of a a little bit of baggage. I, uh, P.S. I'm wearing sort of a '90s look, L.E.W.K. because I just got uh, this top, and this is sort of like a '90s top. Sam, where did you get? Or you can't say, but where did you tell me? Where did you get it? <laughs> eBay. Oh, but it's new with tags. It was. New oh, with it's tags. not new with tags. That's we talked crazy. about this. Well, unfortunately, this did say new with tags. It looks fairly new, but they had they uh, safety pinned the tag on. Then that's not new with tags. Say, and it was only Sin. one tag, not the tag that has the price, just the tag that you'd find anywhere. Okay. So I was like, 
But anyway, I think it looks very festive and Christmas. -y. I'm wearing a comfy, and I got a lot of compliments on this comfy. I don't know if you guys know that comfies are like really, really over. I mean, it's almost like wearing There's, a, they a only, blanket. They only have one size fits most. And it goes all the way down to my knees, but it is so cozy, mm. perfect for the season. Uh, this is not an ad, but hey, comfy, shout out to you guys. Um, I get lots of comfy. I wear, on, uh, I used to wear it on my holiday flights because oh, it's like wearing a blanket yeah, and something. they always say something. I'm, yeah. so, I, get, I, I haven't worn this one out and about. I just put it on for the first time. Someone today. has. Well. <laughs> all right. So, Sin, pick one of these pieces of paper. Okay. All right. So, anyway, that's why I did my hair like this. I was trying to capture the 90s. Isn't this a 90s hairstyle? Oh. Yes, and I like it. It's so don't how I wore guys... my hair at the last episode, I think. Is but... it? <laughs> Gumball machine. Gumball machine. That was a birthday machine. gift. Was that a Christmas present? That gift? was a Christmas present. Oh, well, unfortunately, we had been wanting, when we were little, we had been wanting a gumball machine. Forever. Forever. And one of the grandparents got us a big, beautiful glass. Huge. And um, it almost looked like wrought iron I thought gumball it was Santa. machine. Was it Santa? I thought, I it, was thought, one it, I thought it I thought it was a Santa gift. I feel like it was one of the grandparents and that maybe mom didn't quite approve of it, which is why when what I tell you happened next, why it wasn't replaced. It was never replaced. It was never replaced. <laughs> um, we took it out for the first time and we filled it with gumballs. Now, in my memory, because obviously the way memory works, it was roughly the size of this living room. It was huge. It though. was huge. It was a really nice size. It's like a little Volkswagen bug gumball machine it was and very nice. i was trying to think how do we fill it with gum do we have to like buy out the store but maybe it was, it was smaller it no, might it have was, been this no it was halfway full it was a very large it was large machine, but filled about halfway very... we put it in the living room yeah right next to the furnace radiator the, heater, the radiator yeah. our house was a victorian house growing up in connecticut and it had the like old radiators radiators so we put it maybe even on top of the radiator no it was on the round gate leg table by right the radiator to, yeah so it was right next to the but radiator. it was also because we just we tightened the lid so tight but that's uh, but i also think because there was it, no place for it to expand i think the temperature differential anyway we had literally just set it up yeah um, our parents were out running errands or something you yeah. and i were home alone we went upstairs heard an explosion heard an explosion Came down the stairs and it was Alexa. Stop! I know. And it was gum shattered. everywhere and glass. shattered glass. You so couldn't we eat couldn't the gum because there was shattered glass shattered mixed glass. with it. And uh, when our parents came home, we told them they didn't believe they us. Didn't at first. Believe us. They didn't believe us. They told us, "Day, mom, dad, if you're watching, do you believe us?" I don't they think thought they do. we did something and broke the gumball. We well, did it that. We were both almost, upstairs. It sounds fantastical. I can yes. imagine why. A but I would promise like, you, that that's what happened. what happened. And never replaced. Never replaced. We upsetting. had it for 24 hours. We're going to get like 20 gumball machines in the mail now. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, send those girls a gumball machine. Allison did mention wanting that for Christmas this year. And I said, Allison, really, the, the more you research how bad gum is for the jaw. Oh, really? Mm, oh. It's really. I'd uh, fill it with M&Ms. All right. So we're just going to end with a little bit of Christmas trivia. I specifically oh. wanted to see how other countries celebrate oh, Christmas. Oh, okay. And I should know this because when I was a first grade teacher, we used to do Christmas around the world. Oh, interesting. So where can people eat a Wigilia supper? That doesn't sound like Christmas to me. I said we did Christmas around oh, the world. Oh, it's Poland. So don't, don't speak Is it Christmas? Yes. Oh, well, that's A Wigilia supper at Christmas. Wigilia? Can yeah. you spell it? Because you might be saying it wrong like we It's like. the word wiggle and then I-A. <laughs> oh, Wigilia. <laughs> Wigilia. They pronounce W's like V's. I knew that. No, you <laughs> All right. What is it composed of? No, the, the, uh, the cabbage, <laughs> potatoes, beets. <laughs> Which country? No, does it say? No, it doesn't. Oh, well, then I, I have no idea. Be... Which country came up with the dessert White Christmas made from coconut oil and dried fruit? So Jamaica. Think Australia. Oh. Very close because they're both island nations. What and where were gingerbread houses invented? What country? Ginger, uh, gingerbread houses were invented in Germany. I knew this. I heard you say gingerland. <laughs> Is that correct? Germany. We don't like to put down United Kingdom. Germany. I've um, seen this before. <laughs> where do candy canes come from? Germany. So you got you have two correct. And did you know they also come from elves? Uh, in the UK, what do well-behaved kids, if coal is for naughty kids, what do well-behaved kids get in their stockings? 50 pounds. Of what? A note. A 50 pound <laughs> note. Tangerines. Oh, which yes. explains our grandpa Sparks. Yes. Uh, thinking of you, grandpa. Used to always put an oh, orange, orange in the a... toe, and he was British Scottish. In which country do people celebrate Christmas by gathering on the beach? Australia. That's correct, Cinnamon. Because well, their, you know, their Christmas obviously is their summer. So some Australians, and correct me if I'm wrong, but when we do our Christmas around the world, this is what we 
had read and, and taught the kids in our curriculum was that some Australians celebrate another Christmas in July when it's their winter. And it's oh, more... they like the Hallmark version. Uh, which country is known to have a tradition of a witch dropping gifts for children? The I chimney? know that. That's Italy. That is Italy. What country has the tradition of filling children's clogs with treats and candies on December 5th? The Netherlands. It is correct, then. That I used to correct. live in, and work in the Netherlands, so not during Christmas. What do Swedish children leave for Santa Claus? Like, we leave cookies and carrots. What do, uh... Little, little red sugary fish. <laughs> coffee in case he's feeling tired oh how thoughtful that, that must is. be the halfway point all right i think that's it for our our christmas around the world oh. for those who celebrate merry christmas for those who celebrate hanukkah we know happy today's the first day of hanukkah this is your first celebrate. first night of hanukkah so we're wishing you a very very happy hanukkah and also um as we said last week we're not going to be doing the regular episodes uh, next week or the week after we're celebrating our, our Christmas season, 12 days of Christmas. So uh, look for a little, um, yes, Alexa, stop. So be sure to look at our story at Sparks of Comedy and you'll see we're going to drop a few stories on Instagram. on Instagram. And we're going to be dropping a behind the scenes episode next week. Little Other than that, little best of. we will see you in the new year. Happy, happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And today's send off is a little different than usual, courtesy Romans 1210. But first... Thinking of you, love bug. Love bug. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. See you in the new year. Please take a minute to like and subscribe. So you know when we come back. So we know when we come back. <laughs>